Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3DGameMan.com. You can also visit me on my personal site at RodneyReynolds.com. This next Q&A video is about 120 hertz monitors. What's the scoop? Are they really worth it? And is there, you know, a really amazing 120 hertz monitor out there for gaming? Well, let me go through all of that in this video and by the way if you have a question for me you can post it on 3dgameman.com in the forum or you can shoot me an email directly at techquestions at 3dgameman.com okay let's get right to it first of all i'll go through some of the cons associated with a 120 hertz display and of course it is cost newer technology is going to cost you more for example, it'll probably cost you two times, if not more, um, than a regular 1080p 60 hertz TN, you know, panel uh, over a 120 hertz monitor. So you're looking at double plus the cost. And remember that when you're getting a 120 hertz monitor, you really have to sustain frame rates that are high, 90 plus frames per second. Ideally, maintain them at 120 frames per second. That means fantastic system and certainly a brilliant video card possibly a couple of them uh to sustain that high frame rates uh, you know just so you notice the difference <laughs> otherwise there's no there's no point um and you know usually usually people will notice uh, a difference when you go 90 plus frames per second anything below that yeah you really won't uh, and some people say you know somehow looking at a 120 hertz display even in windows moving the windows around quickly it seems to be cleaner crisper smoother somehow over a 60 hertz display i mean a lot of times it's up to you know the person and their vision as well and how they perceive uh, things some people will notice it and some people won't less uh, input lag certainly from a 120 hertz uh, monitor and usually you'll get a, a higher quality panel because you know you get, you know, they get to produce it to, you know, the 120 hertz spec kind of thing. Uh, and by the way, TN panels still rule when it comes to gaming. IPS panels, not so much. But if you want a panel that you can do some gaming on, and if you want, you know, to do some photo stuff and video editing and, you know, you know, true representation of color, then, you know, an IPS panel would be good. But still, TN panels, we're talking gaming here, so TN panel, uh, you know, that would be the panel to go for. Uh, as well, the uh, pro would be you don't really have to enable a V-Sync when you're playing games with a 120 hertz display. So those are some of the pros and cons. Is it worth it to get a 120 hertz display? Well, yes and no. Um, I think it is if you want to notice a different uh, difference visually. Um, you know, it'll seem smoother, crisper, cleaner kind of thing. Uh, you know, you won't get that kind of lag and sometimes the tearing associated with six. 60 hertz displays, um, but it's it's really sometimes, uh, you know, a, a visual thing. Some people won't even notice it, and some people will tremendously. And some people have upgraded to 120 displays, and they go, you know what? <laughs> you know, I just blew, like, you know, 200 extra dollars, and really? And now all my games are going to play at that high frame rate anyway, so I don't know. I just kind of feel like I wasted my money. So keep that in mind. You're going to spend more, um, you know, on the, on, the video, on the monitor side of things, and you're going to spend more to try and sustain those high frame rates with you know a really good system and uh, a really good video card or video cards now what's a really good 120 hertz monitor for gaming well i think everyone agrees reviewers and gamers that the band q uh, xl 2420t the xl 2420t monitor is probably the very best 120 hertz TN panel gaming monitor that's currently on the market. Um, great panel itself. Pretty simple design, like a simple bezel around it. Um, you know, it can um, pivot and rotate, and, and also there's a height adjustment on it as well. So pretty much everyone is in agreement on that particular monitor as being one of the best that you can get. Well, I hope that answers your question and keep them coming. Remember, if you have a question for me, you can post it on 3dgameman.com or you can shoot me an email directly at techquestions at 3dgameman.com.